Hello, people. So for work, I had to convert from Maya over to Blender uh, recently and uh, had a little bit of difficulty kind of going over that direction. And I also have some students that come in where we're teaching them Maya and they've come from Blender and they have a little bit of difficulty going into Maya. So I thought I'd put together a quick series, uh, each video relatively short, covering a basic topic. And in this first video, I want to go over navigation, and then we'll move on to other topics in other videos to keep them short and simple and easy to, to digest. So in Maya here for navigation, we'll start off. I have my Alt-based navigation. So if you're in Maya, you use Alt, hold it down, and then your left mouse button will orbit, your middle mouse button will pan, again with Alt. And then if you use the wheel with Alt, you will go in and out. And then if you use Alt and the right mouse button, you get a smoother version of that uh, forward dolly movement. If you want to quickly uh, reset the camera to an object, you just simply hit F for focus, and that will quickly jump to that object. So again, F will focus on that object and it will allow you to orbit around that object. If you have multiple objects in your scene, you can quickly navigate between them and uh, also select them in the outliner, press F, and you can jump to them fairly quickly. Additional navigation comes under our view options here and we have our wonderful uh, camera tool set. And there's some additional things include things like the first person walk tool, but there's a number of other tools here. We have the 2D pan and zoom, which is also uh, similar to the, the uh, alt navigation, except if you use your backslash key, which should be under your backspace key next to the square brackets on your keyboard. And so the backslash key can be used to uh, move and zoom uh, in 2D. So if I press and hold that, uh, you can see I got a 2D pan going here with the middle mouse button. And then with the right mouse button, I'm zooming in and out. So this is zooming, this is not a dolly, the, ca the camera's not moving, it's just sort of scaling the image. And then of course, just tapping that key, just tap, tap, right, will take you out of it. And you'll notice there's a little icon up here that changes between that. For that uh, camera tool, walk tool, if we click that, you can see the keys will show up here. And if I use my left mouse button, you can see I'm sort of like a first person walking. And again, holding down that left mouse button, if I use W, A, S, and D, you notice that I'm navigating in a first person mode inside of Maya. So that's the essentials of navigation inside this space. And let's take a look at how these things relate in Blender. So in Blender, everything is middle mouse button based navigation. So if you use your middle mouse button in the viewport, you will have an orbit. If you use your middle mouse button with shift, you get your pen. And if you use your middle mouse button with control, you get the zoom function. Also similar to Maya, uh, without any hotkeys, you can just simply use the wheel mouse to dolly in and out like so. Much like Maya, there is a snap to function. So um, here, let's just add another, actually I've got another object in here already. So if I grab the other object and I press the period key on my numpad, so look for your numpad, look for the period key on there and you'll see that it jumps quickly. Again, I can select an object, move my mouse into the viewport, and quickly jump. It will, of course, navigate around that object, so your orbit will be based on that. However, if you do want to quickly navigate around the selected object, there is an option for that. You can go under Preferences, under Navigation, and you have Orbit Around Selection, which will allow you to quickly go that way. There's also additional ways of controlling the way that you uh, uh, navigate. And um, if you want to play around in those, you can. 
Lastly, we have our ability to uh, walk and fly, similar to what we have in Maya. And that would be under, again, view, just like Maya. We find navigation, very similar. And then we have our walk navigation, which immediately puts us in it so we don't have to hold anything down. And then uh, we have the W, which is relatively slow, A, S, D. And then actually we have Q and E as well. Another thing to point out inside of uh, Maya here is that if you were to press with nothing selected, you press A, um, or with anything selected actually, and pressing A, what it does is it will center you between the different objects. And if we go over to Blender again, you'll find that we can uh, also do the same thing here by pressing Shift C, and Shift C will navigate between the, uh, the objects. So it's much like pressing A in the other viewport. Something else that, to note that is a difference between Maya and here is that right here is your uh, basic camera. So if I were to go ahead and grab this and set it to zero, uh, it will basically uh, zero out all the uh, information about the camera. If I were to zero out the translation, it's gonna put it at the origin, which is right in the middle of that object. So, um, Press F. So navigation uh, inside of Maya is based on this camera here. But if we go into Blender and we take a look at the camera, you notice the camera is in the viewport. We're not actually using that camera. So zeroing it out and doing that stuff, it's not gonna reset our view in any kind of way. So that's a, another unique difference here. That said, we do have options in the um, View, viewport. So if we go to align view, we have align view to active. Um, and we have top front, top, front, back, etc. Uh, we can align it to the camera. So if we did line up the camera to something that we wanted to align it to, we could go ahead and do that. And then of course we see the shift C that we just used as well as uh, center to view, which will bring us to the center of the viewport, similar to resetting the camera to a certain degree. So there are options there to try and reset certain features. And hopefully this gives you a general uh, overview of just navigating in both spaces. And in the next video, we'll move on to some manipulation tools.